Here they come, our summer holiday. 2023 is about to start. Hello girls. Hey. Excited? Yeah. I'm excited to sleep on the ferry. Oh, we're sleeping on the ferry tonight. Whoa, we'll reveal all in a second. Where are we going? Cruise. Cruise. Hey, that was last trip. <laughs> summer 2023 and we are off again. This time we're going on another epic trip. Where are we going girls? Corsica and we might even carry on to Sardinia, the island of Sardinia. So first leg down from near Lake Maggiore where we live down to Genoa. We've been to Genoa lots of times. To go on um, a ferry. We've, we've seen ferry. these giant ferries haven't we? And now we're going on one. We're, we're gonna go going on one. to sleep on it. We are. You're looking Woo! forward to sleeping on it Pops. Ferry, so we've got a cabin book tonight. Mm. So, should we get on the road? Yes. Okay, see you later, everyone. Here we go again. Two hours 24. So it's absolute chaos getting into Genoa. Genoa port. It is like, think of chaos and then triple it. It is mega. It's taken us about an hour to do about a kilometer yeah, half, I think. Yeah. just to try and get into the port. And there's so many, uh, well, there's a lot of holiday traffic. Plus it's also rush hour in Genoa anyway. So it's really, really difficult and lots of roadworks and hardly any decent signs. So if you ever do this, leave plenty of time. So how are you lot coping in the back with all this mess and chaos and delays? You all right? Yeah. Oh yeah, fine. Yeah, good. It's been a bit of a... Yes, very slow. Just, everything's so tight, isn't it? Hello, Pops. Hello. So, go on and explain what we're doing. So, we, we're just stuck here at the ferry, but we're not in the ferry. But, but because they, they, right now, we're not, they're not letting us in. So, we're just waiting to, to, to let them in. That's right. This is the thing. So, we're waiting here in the queue. And it's taking forever, isn't it? Yeah. We've been so, that's, so, so, so while we're waiting, we, we, ate, we ate crisps and lemon tea and... Daddy's just had a few cookies out of the cupboard. Don't tell mummy. Sure did. Sure did. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too much longer. If I turn you around, you can see where we are. We're just oh, no. in a queue, or it's more like a big car park, as Joe said. Seat belt. Last year. So we're on Moby Vinci. Maybe. Maybe we are. We still don't know. There's so many Mobys around. Oh, there's a Moby Corsi. Are we in this one? Maybe we're on that one. It is so chaotic, we don't know which boat we're on. Just We just know we're not on the one that says Tunisia written on the side of it. <laughs> you could easily end up in the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah. 
Did we touch those bikes? No, we didn't. No, no, they were close, but we didn't touch them. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're making it. So we're supposed to leave at quarter past nine. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen, but we're not far off. Yeah, we're not far off. Yeah, we're not far off. Hello, welcome aboard. My name's Jordan. This is a beautiful ship and we're taking you to Corsica. So we spent four hours in the queue and we forgot to do anything to prepare ourselves for a night on board. Yeah, so we've now got to get a few things together for our night. So I don't think we'll be allowed down here on back to the camper until tomorrow morning. Because they don't usually allow people down here on a... I know. It's the rules. It's the rules. Right, let's go and explore this boat then and find our cabin. Have you got the um, yeah. piece of paper that tells us where the cabin is? Oh, we're going up the stairs. And your shoe's falling off. Shoe's falling off. There we go. Right, I suppose I better bring this one in. Poppy, are you happy there? Shall we go and have a look? Because it sounds like the engines are going. Let's go and have a look out on the on the top. Come on then, let's go and get something to eat as well. So it doesn't really cater very well for kids on here, does it? And the food we've just bought that, that, two muffins and a chocolate mousse, two waters, and it was 32 euros. Bring your own food is my my tip, top tip. <laughs> Good morning from the Moby. It's current time 6.28. 6.28, we've had a nice brioche and a coffee. We've got this up. You can just see Corsica. Hello. So when we got off the ferry, we just headed north from Bastia and we're quite tired because it's about eight o'clock this morning and we just pulled over here because there's a parking space. Uh, there's this beautiful sort of secluded beach down here, which uh, you've just seen us at. So we did that. There's also a beach bar, so we had a lovely meal there. And uh, now we're just about to head off. Yeah. Explore the island a little bit more. So having the nugget here with us was great because we had a little snooze as well. How's things in here then? All right. So we've just finished down the beach. We've got the AC on because what temperature is it? 33. It's not too bad. There's a bit of a sea breeze out there as well. But of course, once you get in here and close the doors, it gets really hot. We've got uh, just to help fan going at the front there for the girls and hit the back. Joe's decided to use it as a laundry room, <laughs> um, which is all right, it's gonna be fine. Well, it's just uh, while we're driving. Just while we're driving, yeah. But uh, what's cool, we're just saying how good the nugget is because at the back here, you've got the laundry room, the toilet, the kitchen, the changing room, you can stand up and do it all in one, can't you? Uh, whilst everyone else is still sat in their, chi in their seats. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's the cold water, that's just come straight out of the fridge. I need 
Oh, Hello, everyone Mom. wants some of that. Please, Lisa. <laughs> oh, someone's pulled in really tight next to us there. I think it's probably time to go. Okay, so we're on the road from the beach and we're heading southbound back towards Bastia because oh, we've decided that. after thinking that we're going to leave our brolly behind at home. Well, that, that was my fault. Yeah, I said we should bring a brolly. No, we don't need a brolly. When we got on the beach and we needed a brolly, so we're going to go and buy a brolly and stick it on the bike rack when we're not using it. Well, yeah, it's not an urgent thing that we're going to buy, but we're going to look out for one. We're going to look out for one. We're going to buy one because <laughs> it was roasting down there. But anyway, we'll, we'll get a nice brolly. We're going to the mountains now, aren't we? And see my uncle. We are, and as a coincidence, Joe's uncle is on holiday here, so that might be him. Let's say, say hello. <laughs> Joe's just stuck a hand outside. It's really hot. It's like a hairdryer. Like a hairdryer. It's incredible, isn't it? We moved away from the sea and we climbed a bit. We're still not that high, so it's sort of towards the middle of the island and uh, it's baking hot. So uh, we're better off in here with the AC on. The good thing about this is the air conditioning is fantastic. And the kids are none the wiser sat in the back. Oh, this is the little place where we're going to stay the night, up in the mountains here in Corsica. Being filmed now because you're being filmed. <laughs> and over. Oh, they look fluffy. Mummy, can, can I flip one? No, no, it's too hot. Oh no. What happened? Uh-oh. Hello, girls. Good morning. Come in. Down below. Down below. Oh. Okay. Here we go. But hello everyone. Mamma mia. Everyone look at my ears. Poppy, get your head behind. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Mamma mia. Can you do it again? I missed it. This looks very uh, old school, doesn't it? So the pottery, which stores the pottery in, babe? Around here. Pig. Don't fall over.
Poppy, Poppy. No running because we're going to a pottery now and there is no touching of anything, okay? okay. Did you see the jug you want, babe? Good morning in the back there. Hello. Thank you. Good morning, you're back on Sunday. <laughs> Thanks, Holly. Be used to on the ladder. It's really handy actually on the ladder for little ones. Yeah. So we're um, we've spent two nights here in near Corti in the middle, haven't we? Now, to some amazing hospitality. We have some amazing hospitality. I'm still recovering from the hospitality. Yeah. It's a family friend's house up in the hills here, so it's been really nice. It's time to move on. We are learning how to cope with the heat. Yeah, we've got I've been coping quite well. Fans running. You can see at the front here we bought this super right. fan, uh, which clips on like so, and is pretty good. And then the kids have got two fans up there as well, right, and we've got this ventilator as well, which runs out of steam halfway through the night because you have to put cold no, water no, in it. Yeah. But nevertheless, it's still out coolish moving air and then we've got the max fan running up there and we slept with the rear door open last night yeah it's because it's just a beautiful view out there well yeah but uh, there's no it's quite so private looking all the hills and, and with this door open and with the mosquito nets on both doors um so if you're ever buying a van if you get them with integrated mosquito nets, it's definitely the way to go. Gives you that little bit of extra privacy and it makes you feel as though you can have the door open all night. But uh, um, yeah, but also to get the flow of air running through is fantastic. So when it's really hot, keeping the, the flow going helps. And then also we've got the other big vent on the top fully open. So, you know, and all in all, I think it's already quite warm out there. We've parked in the shade, and that's another thing. You've got to really try and park in the shade if you want to have a lion. And then uh, it's affected our battery, hasn't it? Because our battery is now... It's um, 23%. Look at that, yeah. Another little drive. Another drive. Of course, the fridge is running as well. And what are those then, Poppy? They're for hanging on the Christmas. Yeah, and um, uh, they're made by, made by a, a lovely man called Gaston, and he does wicker work. And I bought myself a jug, a nice local pottery jug. You did, didn't you? Yeah. I put my jug with dolls. Daddy. Anyway, Gaston made us these, these and gave them to the girls, and they're lovely. This is mine, and I don't know who's this one, because this one's mine because it's little. And Gaston is the friend of our friend up here, who's been extremely accommodating, hasn't he, with his family. Had a lovely meal there last night, and uh, it's been, what's the word? Just hospitable? Yeah, extremely hospitable yeah, has been Gaston and his family. Incredibly generous. Quite like part of the family the last two days up here. <laughs> Get out my racket, but I got kept. <laughs> so we've done two nights of free camping now. I've got a family friend's uh, house, uh, which is just down here. Uh, it's been really, really nice been very welcoming we've loved every minute of it but now it's time to move on and then carry on exploring Corsica 
So after two, uh, plus the traveling day, so sort of three days, uh, we need to sort the toilet out, do the water, and uh, also the flush, and the batteries are getting a bit low, so we need a good drive as well. So what we're gonna do is fill up the water from the village tap. This place seems really nice, girls. There's a nice pool. There's a pizza. It's pizza and concert night tonight. So we could go for a swim and then get out and sit at the table and drink uh, and eat pizza. And then uh, tomorrow, lounge by the pool. Maybe use the electric bikes to go down into uh, down, down to the sea. Right, that's pretty good there. Really shady. That's really shady, and there's a view of the sea there. So I think this is bingo. Yeah, okay, good. I think this is our third morning and it's great because time's slowing down which is what we want and we found a lovely campsite not far from Kelvi and it's beautifully terraced and Isabel what did you go and do this morning? I went to get a uh, pan of chocolat for everyone. Pan of chocolat is it any good? Yeah it's great. Enormous. Enormous. Bigger than Poppy's face. <laughs> <laughs> right so the kettle is on we are coping with the heat quite well actually and um, mainly because of beautiful shade and a few of the techniques we're using as well which we'll probably talk about later in this video we've got the main uh, roof vent open max fan running side windows open gives us good flow through and then uh, if we want to as well we could drop the back bikes down and open the tailgate. And we've got the mosquito net in the back. Um, just reduce the privacy a little bit at night doing that. So it depends on where you park, but it really helps actually with uh, keeping the, the temperature regulated inside. It's a little bit dusty. So a ground sheet is essential. Got a few little uh, tasks to do, like plugging in the electricity, 
and the uh, campsite has loaned us an extension lead because the nearest uh, electricity point is two terraces down there. Got the electric bike off and I'm going to go and find the rubbish bin and have a recce of the site to find out where we're going to wash our dishes. So we think this is our fourth morning in Corsica, but uh, uh, we're not sure. There's Joe packing away the beds. The kids are doing their usual thing in the morning, eating pancakes and having a look at their screens and chilling out in the shade. And after our lovely bike ride last night, coming back in the sunset uphill for about 12 kilometers, uh, the e-bikes did really well. Obviously, all two, or sorry, two bikes for all five of us. So uh, I put those on charge last night. We've got the electric hookup, and I've got a splitter here for the chargers. So now they're nicely fully charged, ready to go on our next adventure. But uh, we're moving on today. We're going to go down, have a look at Jassio, and maybe then go to the coast, go all the way down the west coast. Um, yeah, from uh, Calvi to Ajaccio. So that's what we're planning to do today. I've got to get the bikes back on the rack. Everything packed away. The kids are going to do the dishes. Is that right? Yeah. Are you going to do the dishes? Mm, I think so. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then we're going to go for a dip in the pool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sneaky photos. Embarrassing ones being taken, which will never get seen. Right. Oh, time to get packed up. Hello, in air conditioned comfort in here. Hello. So, Joe is cooking really, really healthy cool. dish noodles. My favorite dish. <laughs> you can see where we are on the map there.
So we are parked in a really spot on place for lunch, right next to the lifeboat. Looks like we're kind of floating on top of the water there, doesn't it, with the boat? Yeah, Max Fan is going for it. Good, it's pretty windy out there, so we'll probably just sit and eat in the van, I think. Loads of photo opportunities in this place. So this here is the house of Napoleon Bonaparte's godfather. What a fantastic place, completely steeped in history. And a real joy just to meander and mooch around. It's fantastic. Governor's Palace. The former palace of the governors, formerly called Castel Nuovo, was the residence of the governors of Corsica. Wow. So we can't get out of the car park because uh, it's got a double barrier. It didn't have a double barrier coming in. So the rear won't close. camper is too long so the back the second barrier will not close yeah but uh, you know that uh, you have a